Today I want to talk about the education system in Kenya and the current curriculum that has just been approved by the team that President Ruth appointed to come up with ways by which education can be improved in Kenya. And I want to say that the job that they did is pure baldadesh, is pure gibberish, it's nonsensical. Because you are approving that the lowest student in this country that is going to join first year, the least amount of money that this student is going to pay is 200,000 Kenya shillings to do a course related to a social science course or arts for that matter. By the time this student is finishing four years, the parent should part with 200,000 times four, four years, which is 800,000 Kenya shillings. How will a mama mboga, who is selling mboga and getting 100 shillings per day or 200 shillings per day, get 800,000 shillings in four years? Get 200,000 shillings in one year? Are we not punishing Kenyans? The Kenyans that you promised as a president that you will change their lives. The mamamboga that you promised that will move from the kiosk to a supermarket. When will they think of moving to a supermarket? When will that border border guy who is earning 300 shillings per day or 100 shillings per day move from a border border to buying a matatu? When this person is expected to pay 800,000 shillings in four years. If the student is doing medicine, then they are expected to pay 600,000 shillings per year times, four, times five years. That is three million. And if they are going for six years together with the internship, is around between three million to 3.6 million that a medical student is supposed to pay. So why are we killing the education system? Because you say, you say that help is not going to be of benefit to these students. You are only giving an opportunity to 45,000 students whom you are saying are coming from needy backgrounds. What is the basis of determining who is needy and who is not needy? So long as you come from the slums in this country, you are needy. So long as you come from the village in this country, you are needy. And even there are those who are able, but their parents passed on and they are now needy. So what is the basis of determining a student who is needy? Help is now a thing of the past. I want to advise you, Mr. President, you are killing this country. You are killing this country, and we will not let you kill this country under our wash. Thank you.